Hey, hey, people. This is Jacob here at Sutherland Chevrolet in Nicholasville, Kentucky, and I'm here today on this gloomy, overcast, and rainy day, thankfully we've had a break from the rain, to show you our 2015 Lexus RC350. I'm going to kind of walk around the outside here. Uh, it's in very good shape. It does need another bath. Um, that was just a little dust on there. But actually, it looks like maybe there's a... Uh, that might not even be picking up in the camera, but a little tiny scuff there. Uh, very hard to see. That's just a little bird there. All in all, it's in very good shape. You've got a bunch of trunk space there as well. It's got quad exhaust, which is nice and very sporty. Over here, I've got this seat kind of pulled forward a little bit to give you some idea about the uh, rear trunk space there. Well, not trunk, but <laughs> rear seating space. Uh, as you can see, it's not a whole lot. You know, that seat's moved forward, so there's enough room for a person to sit there and a person to probably sit behind them. But uh, I'm six foot four and It'd be a pretty tight fit for me back there, personally. Everything looks good on this side. Haven't noticed any little scratches, dents, dings, anything. All the wheels look good, so that's important to me. HUD and front bumper look really good. I'm going to get on the inside here and kind of show you around there. Of course, the interior is in excellent condition like you'd expect. But uh, on the door, pretty standard stuff. Of course, you got your locks and unlocks here. Your window locks if you can keep other people from messing with the windows. Your mirror adjustments, of course, your power as well. On the steering wheel, you got a bunch of buttons and things to play with. Um, so over on the right side here, you've got... Uh, these buttons here that adjust what information is shown on the uh, digital information center in the uh, gauge cluster there So you can have it show you stuff like tire pressure uh, You know how many miles till empty your fuel economy things like that You can also have it show you the navigation information stuff on the radio um, like what you're listening to, who you're on a phone call with, that kind of stuff. Of course, you got buttons over here to uh, answer and hang up on phone calls, as well as bring up the voice assistant on your phone. Um, this mode button adjusts between which, uh, you know, of your presets, uh, like stations on the radio. It kind of cycles through those. And you got some buttons here that turn the volume up and down. You've also on the back of the steering wheel, like these, you've got paddle shifters. So, you know, the car's an automatic, but if you want to shift up and down manually, you don't have to work a clutch. All you got to do is press, uh, press, you know, the positive uh, paddle shifter over here to go up gears. And the negative, of course, goes down. Um, if you leave it alone, it'll eventually go back to drive. Or you can just put it in that regular drive mode. So, again, with that, over here... You've got drive, but then if I turn it to that manual mode, you can either use the paddle shifters to shift up and down at that point, or you can use the shifter, pressing it forward goes up gears, pressing it downwards goes goes down gears. So you got some options there. Um, it's a pretty sporty car. Um, and uh, of course, behind the steering wheel, you've got your uh, windshield wipers over here and your lighting controls over here to the left. Um, you do have a blind spot monitor system, which you can turn on and off right there. And then your trip odometer reset is right over here too, kind of hidden away. Sorry, I was still in drive. That's why it was beeping at me. <laughs> um, over here, of course, you got your uh, display for your infotainment system. Uh, all your HVC controls are underneath that, as well as some radio controls, some physical radio controls there. You actually have a CD player, which is nice. You've started to get rid of those in the more recent ones. Um, and then underneath that, it's kind of hard to see there with the shifter, but you've uh, on both sides, you've got your heated and cooled seats. So uh, you can see that the cooled seat's on right now. It's got three bars lit up, which means it's at its highest setting. It goes down from there as I press it until it goes off again. And then same thing for the heated seats. 
then it'll go down until it's off again. So um, underneath that, of course, you got your shifter. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, to the right, um, you've got your different driving modes. So if uh, you got an economy mode, you know, if you're trying to save fuel economy, uh, you would turn it to that, to the left, and you'll see it pops up here, eco, in that center gauge cluster. Oh, well, the, the information center in the gauge cluster. <laughs> and then uh, if I turn it to the right, that'll put it in sport mode. You'll see it's red now at the top there and says sport. Um, if I press it in, it'll take you back to the regular driving mode. And you've also got a snow mode. And then this button just turns your traction control off. So if you're trying to do donuts or burnouts, you'd want to hit that button. That'll turn your traction control off. That would allow you to do that. Not that I advise either of those. Um, behind that, okay, this is how you navigate the screen up there. So it is not a touch screen. Um, it is... Uh, done like this. So use your f finger and almost like your uh, phone screen. That's how you uh, that's how you navigate it. So it's it's a little bit different, um, but uh, it's a Lexus, you know. <laughs> so but that's how you would get to your navigation, your radio. Um, it's fairly easy to use. May take you a couple minutes to get used to, but uh, it's very very intuitive. So uh, very nice. You've also got a little bit of storage here as well. So. And then of course you got your glove box, which is a nice size and very deep. I mean, I can't even reach all the way into the back of it from the driver's side, so that's nice. Up here you got your sunroof. And the controls for it, of course, are right up here. So over on this left side, that'll uh, raise the vent. And then on the right side, it will actually bring your sunroof back. I really like sunroofs. I feel like it makes me feel less claustrophobic while I'm driving around and makes me feel like the cabin's a little more open. So I'm a big fan of them. But uh, let me get out of here. And I'll open the hood here and show you that as well. Let's see if I can find the latch found it very easily it's just basically a little right of the center of the lexus logo i always try to give people a uh, kind of place to look for it for because it seems like in every vehicle they're different but there's not a whole lot to see under here you hear that little almost like clicking noise and uh there's the fuel injectors close the door here and kind of walk around the outside again it's a very nice car very sporty very fun to drive and this is Jacob over at Sutherland Chevrolet you can reach me on my cell phone here at 859-492-1137 and I uh, hope to see you soon have a wonderful day